Hey guys, we're back with another one. Hotel review time. We're in Norwood, Massachusetts. And Coming we're live. Live, live, live at the Hampton Inn. A uh, little three-star hotel action tonight. We're gonna let you know what the ambiance is like, uh, what the food is like, so stay tuned, guys. They share this location with um, McMorgan's. This is McMorgan's second location. The first one being in Sharon and also a parking lot with the Chateau, the Chateau. Which, which there's a few around Massachusetts and there's also a golf course um, I don't know that I'm out of holes or anything but there's a driving range and a golf course here which is always pretty busy so we'll let you know when we know more we're gonna go check out the room see what they're all about and uh, we'll let you know all right guys as you walk into the hotel this is the restaurant they have McMorgan's right there there's the hotel Hampton Inn it's right on the Oda mile uh, so you got all the car dealerships there. I bet they get a lot of business from that. Across the street from over there, you got a uh, sports pub called Jake and Joe's. That's pretty popular. And then over here is the Chateau, the Italian restaurant we were talking about, guys. And there it is, Hampton Inn. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we just got off the elevator, and this is our view. This is where we just were down there. Uh, that's Chateau across the street, as Michael pointed out. And right off the elevator, we've got... Um, nice welcoming area we are up on the fifth floor again we're checking in to the hampton in uh boston norwood we are going into room 504 and uh see what they got for us 504 that's us all right here we are Right when you come in, the bathroom. All right, so right when you walk in, this is the bathroom here. Pretty spacious for Hampton Inn. One sink, um, they do have the Neutrogena products. Some towels here. Hi. This is the art, that beach bag that we love. And a tub looks pretty clean from um, view here. Everything looks clean. We don't see any dirt or dust or mold. So all good signs. So far, everything looks good. Some hooks, a little bit uh, wobbly there. But this was a last minute booking on Expedia and uh, we got it for 100 total. Here we are. Hey guys. Hey, howdy. Another journey. Hockey games on there, checking that out. So this is it. We uh, we're here. We booked this room. Well, let's, let's point out a few things. Yeah. What do you, anything you've noticed so far since you've been come, here? Come closer to this window here. This window is a jeers. It looks like somebody took a dirty rag and. It is kind of dirty. That's the first thing you noticed when you walked in. You walked said, right? The door, the yeah. That's the cheers. The view is of the Auto Mile. There's Jake and Joe's Jake over there. Jake and Joe's over there. A lot of people go there for their sporting events. Kind of hard to see. This is Route 1. We are uh, about five miles away from Patriots Place, where the Patriots play Gillette. Um, what do you got, Michael? Anything? Do the dust test. Oh, that's a C. Picked up quite a bit of dust there, guys. Oh, no. I can't see Jeez. it. Let's see it. I'm going to give it a Jeez. Can you see that dust, guys? Yeah, we got we got it. So we got some plugs here, some updated light fixtures, old school phone plugs along the desk, which we like to see. And then in here we saw some interesting shelving. I've never seen that. Are those drawers for clothes, do you think, or for food? I think it's clothes. I'm thinking shoes. Shoe rack. I, I could see that. And then there's a coffee maker and a mini fridge. Let's, let's give them redemption. <laughs> Clock is way off. What do we got for a time check here? We're gonna add that to our reviews now, checking to see if the clocks yeah, are it correct. Me. It's uh, the time. The correct time is ten twenty nine, according to my iPhone. Let's see, it's close up, sir. Ten twenty nine, and this is ten forty four. So oh, cheers. We're gonna start paying a little bit closer attention to that. Michael just did the dust test. What did you say? I gave another dust test. Still pretty. Um, picked pretty up bestie? quite a bit. Yeah, about a C. This gentleman is closing the blinds because we don't like the looks of that dirty window. Windows of Jeers, room is... Yeah. The beds look clean, they do look comfy. The air was at a comfortable um, level when we came in, 67. What else, Michael, did you notice? You wanna record for a second? Um, I mean, st standard hotel room. Um, can't really complain, two beds. For 100 bucks, you can't really complain about that. Oh, that um, decent cable box, so uh, it's all right. Uh, so far, so so, we'll let you know at the end, guys. Take care. Another Jeers, guys, is when you're walking down the hallway and you see a stack of like 50 towels on the floor for no reason. That's the Jeers. You 
You want to try this? So we're just working on um, the clock. We noticed there's some watermarks here. Um, so trying to figure the clock out. And I think Michael noticed something over here he wanted to share. Yeah, one thing, if you're, if you're looking for cleanliness of the room, look at the trash that's back here as well. We've got some trash back there. And that's unacceptable. You know, you can find God knows what sometimes back there. That's a Jeers, guys. That's a Jeers? That's a Jeers. Right. And just one thing here I wanted to show you right when you walk in. So that was the restroom I gave you uh, the tour of. And then this is a barn door that slides over. And then there is a little little closet. I would have sent them all back. Not for the American. Oh. And that's it. The cheers is it looks like somebody threw up previously and housekeeping forgot to clean that up and as you can see the wall is also peeling off the the frame there so that's a cheers guy that's pretty gross he's the hits just keep on coming another cheers look at this filthy trash barrel overflowing nastiness on the uh, this could this could be my city over here for all we know it's disgusting and that's a cheers look at that stain hand marks on the freaking elevator oh no so guys, a little overview about this um, Hampton Inn for a hundred bucks uh, for the trash in the in the hallways, the trashy room, the clock not working, the fingerprint in the elevator, uh, the puke on the bent through vanity. Um, what do you think, guys? For a hundred bucks, is it worth it? Is it a cheers or a jeers? I think that's questionable. All right, guys, here's McMorgan's pub here. Little peek inside. And once again, for a hundred bucks, you get a closed pool. And no then pool. These are some meeting rooms on the construction. Here. They do have a few meeting rooms that I know you can rent out. Um, but we would like to point out again, we are paying customers here, and while walking down here to check out the restaurant and pool area, which we didn't know were closed, we were just approached by an employee who questioned us um, on what we were doing, and we just said we were hotel guests checking out the area and. She kind of just walked away, and she didn't seem too impressed with us. So, sorry if we've offended anyone. We're just uh, trying to get the word out of a local hotel. Yet another cheers, guys. So the pool is closed, so we just noticed that this was the pool over here. So it just looks like they've got some construction going on. Looks like some um, broken blinds. Can't see what's going on in there, though. Wish we could. Wish we could enjoy it. We were trying to record it earlier, but some rude uh, person was like, ah, can I help you? Oh, oh, she had an attitude, so she was a jeers. Worst front desk experience of all time, guys. There it is. All right, guys, we're getting ready to check out of this hotel, and what do we see here? We just noticed there's lots of broken glass on the ground here, so if you are staying here at the Hampton Inn in Norwood, Massachusetts, just be careful. It looks like someone got there car broken into lots of glass over here also lots of empty bottles and room keys or you know trash on the ground come on houseman do your job do your job yeah. you got an empty nip over there too yeah we got a oh, let's see what we got here we got more trash over here pringles container yogurt container oh yeah somebody had um room key some yogurt and said oh, i'm all set throw it in the yeah. trip floor dirty. So, this is a dirty this is a decrepit dirty nasty parking lot a face wash. It needs a face wash. And normally, you know, we know this is COVID times and we know that, um, you know, things aren't normal. But when the service is rude and obnoxious, we're going to let you know how it really is with an honest review. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't do this very often, but this is the unhappy recap. Normally it's a happy recap, but there's nothing happy about this day. Hampton Inn is a big disappointment um, in terms of the cleanliness, in terms of the quality um, even with the price point that it was, it's a Jeers, guys. Um, also being chased down by uh, the front desk agent, questioning what we're doing really changed the whole the whole scene for us at that point. So, you know, you guys were there with us. You saw what happened. Unfortunately, we were questioned when we were just walking through our hotel. So, I mean, we, we gave it like a morning to think about it because, you know, we know it's COVID times. So I know think times are rough. We weren't even going to post this video. But when you when you go above and beyond to give us poor quality customer service, then now you're talking to a different animal, and 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 we're gonna show you what's going on, because we understand that like they're you know they're short staff and there's stuff like that. It's but nice. but if you have linens all over the floor, if you have food all over the floor, mm -hmm. if you have a lot a lobby that's dirty, if you have elevators that's dirty, if you have a parking lot that's dirty, that's gonna attract rodents. That's gonna attract 
the wrong crowd and that's gonna also, attract. Also, even just walking on broken glass, that's dangerous if there's kids or if you have flip flops on, you know, someone should be out here cleaning that up. This is a shared parking lot, again, between Chateau and the hotel and the restaurant here, McMorgan. So someone between those different businesses should be out here cleaning up the parking lot once a week at least. So management, if you ever stumble upon this video, this is not like a, a critique to to we don't like giving put you down reviews. or anything like that. Yeah. This is a critique to maybe show your staff and say, hey, guys, this is what went wrong and, and, and let's approve it. Um, and, you know, maybe in a year we'll, we'll come back here and see what's going on. We call it um, a happy recap normally for a reason. We like to share our experiences with you guys and let you know where we've been and the, you know, the things that we love about different states throughout New England. But there wasn't much to this day that we loved. So, so Hampton Inn, if you're considering it, um, I would say maybe look at TripAdvisor, see what's going on there. Uh, but at the moment, this is not the place to stay. There's other uh, properties in Norwood or um, neighboring towns that uh, will probably be more worth your while um, in terms of quality of stay. But if you do come, definitely check out Chateau Next Door. We do like it there. It's quick, easy, Italian. Oh, Chateau. Or McMorgan's. Both. Mac McMorgan's is that way. Chateau is. Right there, right there, the red light. Uh, right over there. Yep. So lots of great restaurants around here. We love Norwood, love to support local, but you know, just do your research, find the best rate for you and know what you're getting yourself into if you're gonna be coming And we're here. trying it so you know. So there you have it. So until next time guys, peace, love, take care. Subscribe. And subscribe and hopefully the next oh, video. Let's share our good news. We just hit 1000 views on our most popular video. So if you haven't watched it yet, check it out. It's for our hotel review from New York. We're gonna link and that video didn't start out positive, but they redeemed themselves, and you'll see why. So peace, love, take care. Later, guys.